I may have been nice all year round, but Scream Factory still managed to send me something very, very naughty. Hold on, hold on. Before you think it's one thing, let me just explain my pre-order for the Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 2 from Scream Factory collaborated with uh, NECA Toys has finally arrived. It actually arrived a couple of days ago, and we're going to go ahead and open this up together. I have yet to open this up. This actually now marks the second time that this reviewer has pre-ordered something from Scream Factory Christmas-related. Also something that was collaborated with NECA Toys in which you got yourself a figure. Here, we're going to get, open this up, and inside is the Silent Night, Deadly Night, Deadly Night Part 2, the new Scream Factory release on Blu-ray, finally. And NECA Toys also, along with that, included the retro cloth, a uh, Ricky Caldwell. So I was very, very excited to get that opened up. And we're going to do it online here, or at least, at the very least, I'm going to open it up in front of camera. Not necessarily online, but we're going to find out what we got inside, and uh, join, join along with me. Now, anyone who had pre-ordered, look at me sidetracking myself here, if anyone had pre-ordered the previous outing of Scream Factory and NECA Toys with the Silent Night, Deadly Night, uh, Billy, uh, you'll know eventually we did get ourselves a retro cloth version of Billy Chapman in uh, an actual retail release. I don't know if the same thing is going to be true for Ricky Caldwell, but sure enough, we're going to look inside, at least have a look at the one that got that was available with the pre-order, and uh, then we'll go from there. And oh, by the way, I will also be doing a full review of the Ricky Caldwell retro cloth figure, so this is just simply an unboxing. Inside, we got ourselves the Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 2 on Blu-ray. I did already have a look at this previously, and uh, the pre-order, of course, came with the... Uh, the Blu-ray copy as well, so technically now I've got two. Also inside, also inside, very similar to Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 1, I believe you get yourself a repro reproduction of the poster that they used, or the cover artwork that they used for the Blu-ray. Let's go ahead and pull that out. Um, I don't know if they would ever entertain the idea of doing this, but I do like the posters. But I think part of me would almost even favor getting a t-shirt instead of a poster. Something I could wear. Um, i trying to think of the name of the company that did this at one point. I'm drawing an absolute blank. Anyways, there was a deluxe version. I'll remember it by the time I've posted this video and then by then it'll be too late. But I had done a pre-order on the Silent Night, Deadly Night. It was a, like a deluxe set that came with the ornament. It came with an ugly sweater, came with a t-shirt, and it was all from Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 1. For the life of me, I can't remember who it was from. But here inside we got ourselves the poster, which is just essentially a reproduction of the smaller case, as you can see right here. The thing about this is, as nice as this poster may be, I don't know if I would see myself putting this up every single year, nor would I see myself putting this up, you know, one time a year, deliberately putting up a movie poster of uh, certainly one of my favorite horror movies at the Christmas season, but I don't know, again, if I would put this up and have it up all year round. A t-shirt, on the other hand, is something I could easily, in fact, a couple of weeks ago, I even put on the Silent Night, Deadly Night t-shirt that I got from, I want to say, was, was it Trick or Treat Studios? That may not actually be correct. And then lastly, I guess the real reasoning why I did get the pre-order for this was not so much the movie, which I knew I was already going to be getting, not so much necessarily the poster, but it was for this. This is the Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 2, Ricky, uh, Ricky Caldwell. Yes, I know the last name does get changed between uh, Part 1 and Part 2. It goes from Chapman to Caldwell. Um, he is a little on the tanned side. There he is on the back there. I guess actually the image on the back isn't that great either. It does look like they may have used the same body as the one that we got from the Billy Chapman, which let me just reach over to my little tickle trunk. Here is, by the way, the Silent Night, Deadly Night. Now, this was the one that came included with the pre-order 
um, which we had already opened on the channel, and then I, I eventually did the full review of this one. Uh, still, I'm kind of disappointed with the paint. The paint could have been a little bit better. Uh, I do want to eventually get myself the uh, the retail release that came, the retail release version, the retro cloth version of uh, Billy Chapman. Eventually, again, I don't know if we're, we'll, we're, we'll get a Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 2, Ricky Caldwell. Um, logically, I guess it does make sense for people that didn't get their opportunity to get a, the pre-order, uh, you know, down, ordered right away. Uh, you know, they would still be able to get it. So maybe NECA Toys will eventually release the Ricky Caldwell uh, in the... Uh, you know, it's just a standard retail release clamshell. But uh, looking quickly at the figure, I think like the paint might be a little bit better from Ricky. Um, you know, again, the Billy wasn't terrible, but it did look a little uh, a little pasty. Ricky's isn't like I said. Ricky's isn't terrible. I'll, I'll do a, certainly a full review. We've got the uh, the gun. It would be awesome if you could take this off and underneath that would be his blue sweater, but I don't think that would be the case. Uh, he's got a little extra hand and uh, it looks like he's got the axe, which might actually very well be the same axe that he that came included. No, actually it's a different, it's a different axe. Uh, there's the back. Ricky is all grown up and ready to follow in the footsteps of his older brother, serial killer Billy Chapman. All he needs are a knife, a gun, and some jumper cables, a car antenna, a Santa suit, of course. Not bad. Not bad at all. I am pleased the fact that NECA would continue doing this. I don't know if we would ever see ourselves another collaboration between the folks over at Scream Factory and the folks over at NECA Toys, eventually giving us a Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 3, which of course had the brain-domed Ricky Caldwell, which I thought was absolutely ridiculous. But I wonder if they will continue the trend of the annual Christmas release of a figure along with a corresponding Blu-ray copy. I think this is probably as far as we're going to possibly go, but there's always a potential, for example, like a, a Black Christmas that would have a retro cloth version um, of, uh, of course, you know, I think his name is Bill or Billy, uh, who actually lived up in the attic. That could be a possibility, although you really don't see his face, so that would be a a bit of a deal breaker, unless they did the retro cloth version of Billy that would have come uh, for the uh, Black Christmas remake, because of course we see what he looks like. I'm trying to think of other characters that we could get. I mean, I just recently watched the Christmas uh, Christmas Evil movie last night, one of my all-time favorite horror Christmas movies as well. Maybe we may eventually get ourselves a retro cloth version of that, along with a new release, uh, Christmas Evil. So there's a couple of little possibilities right there. Let me know if you already have this figure, this figure being over here. Let me know what you guys think of it in the comments section. And don't worry, we're going to do a full in-depth review of Ricky Caldwell. If you want to go back and have a look at my review of the Billy Chapman, uh, you should be able to easily find it on this channel. Uh, today we were doing an unboxing. Not really a whole lot in the box, aside from, again, the poster, which I don't personally feel like I'm going to ever put on display. I think a t-shirt would be a better way to go, maybe for future releases. Of course, we got ourselves the brand spanking new copy of Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 2, finally on Blu-ray. Um, we'll be watching that. I actually haven't watched it this year. I just got sidetracked with all these other things going on, wrapping presents. I was kind of the late shopper. I fell into that category of buying stuff a little too late. So I still have to wrap gifts and stuff like that. But I will eventually get around to watching Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 2. Of course, I've already, I kind of watched starting of uh, most kind of watched the beginning of it just to kind of gauge what the picture quality was and I watched like the features but I didn't actually full through watch the movie so I'll definitely want to give that a check through uh, again guys if you haven't subscribed to this channel make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below we're gonna have some more videos coming up still somewhat Christmas somewhat Christmas time and uh, we're gonna have some Christmas uh, Christmas videos lined up before uh, before that guy comes down the chimney. No, not on either one of these guys, but, you know, the, the other guy. As always, guys, thanks for watching, as you always do, and I'll see you next time.